Greetings aspirants, welcome to the YouTube channel of Shankara AS Academy. This video is a comment clarification video. If you remember on Feb 2nd of 2022, we made a video on the UPSC preliminary examination notification. We had overwhelming response for that video. Along with that, we had a lot of queries in the comment section as well. So, this video is going to address the queries in the comment section of that notification video. So, without wasting much time, now let us get into the video. Now, look at this first question. Now, the question here is whether the person could apply for UPSC preliminary examination 2022 or not. So, to answer this question, we have to look at the notification first. We have to see what the notification has got to tell us. Now, look at the notification. It has clearly mentioned that all candidates who are declared qualified by the commission for taking the civil services mains examination will be required to produce proof of passing the requisite qualifying examination along with their DAF1 form. It has also mentioned that such proof of passing the requisite qualifying examination should be dated earlier than the due date of DAF1 of the mains examination. Now what does that actually mean? Consider you have cleared your preliminary examination this year and to apply for your mains examination you will be required to provide the proof of being passing the requisite qualifying examination which is nothing but your final semester. You will be uh, asked to provide the proof along with the DAF1 form. That means the result date of your final semester must be earlier than the closing date of DAF1 form. For those who are not aware, DAF is nothing but detailed application form. There are two types of DAF, DAF1 and DAF2. DAF1 you will be applying after qualifying preliminary examination and DAF2 you will be applying after qualifying the mains examination. I hope you can appreciate the difference between DAF1 and DAF2. So, to put it in simple words, the result date of your last semester must be earlier than the closing date of DAF1. Now, let us analyze the trend of UPSC to actually investigate whether the person could apply for UPSC Civil Services 2022 or not. See, last year the preliminary examination that is 2021 preliminary examination was held on 10th of October 2021 and the result was declared on 29th of October 2021. The last day to apply for DAF 1 form was 1st of December 2021 and in 2020 the preliminary was held on 4th of October 2020 and the result was declared on 23rd of October 2020. The last date to apply for DAF 1 form was 11th of November 2020. This year we know that the preliminary examination will be held on 5th of June 2022, right? Then going by the trend of UPSC, if the examination was held on date, then the result will be declared before the end of June month, which means the DAF 1 form will be open by the end of June 30th itself. So let us assume for this year DAF 1 closing date will be somewhere around July 15 to August 1st of 2022. So on safer side if the person has the examination result before July 15th of 2022 then the person can apply for the examination otherwise there is no use at all. See all the dates I have mentioned here or tentative dates I have just analyzed the trend of UPSC. The final dates are yet to be published by UPSC but we hope that the dates should be somewhere in and around the date which we have mentioned. Hope your doubt is cleared. Now you only have to make a decision based on the facts which I have mentioned. For regular updates please visit UPSC website. With this information now let us address another one query from the comment section. See the question here is whether the person could apply for the examination under OBC category because the person has born on 1st of January 1990. So to answer this question we have to look at the notification. 
See, according to the Civil Services Notification 2022, a candidate must have attained the age of 21 years and must not have attained the age of 32 years on the 1st of August 2022. That is, the candidate must have born not earlier than 1st of August 1990 and not later than 1st of August 2001. See, this is for general category and if the person comes under the general category, the person could not write the examination because as of August 2022, the person will be aged more than 32 years as he or she has born on 1st of January 1990. But you have mentioned that your brother belong to OBC category. So whether he can climb the age relaxation or not is a question here, right? See, as per the notification, the candidates who belong to OBC non-creamy layer can claim a age relaxation of 3 years, which will be applicable to your brother also if your brother comes under OBC non-creamy layer. If that is the case, then your brother not only can appear for this year's examination, but he can apply for 2023 and 24 examinations as well if UPSC follows the same criteria as mentioned in 2022 notification. An additional information just for you, in the notification page number 20, it has exclusively mentioned that the OBC candidate must produce OBC non-creamy layer certificate based on the income for the financial year 2020 to 2021, 2019 to 2020 and 2018 to 19. I hope this video helped you a lot in clarifying your doubts regarding the notification. Let me meet you in another interesting short video. Until then, this is Radha Lakshmi signing off. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned.